So we're hanging out with the lorikeets in the Kansas City Zoo. I think it's gonna be a miracle if you guys can hear me. <laughs> Look at all of them. Hey everybody, so my sister and I are here at the Kansas City Zoo today and we are gonna be looking around at the animals and it is a beautiful day here. Last time I came it was January and really chilly so a lot of the animals were not out but today the weather is gorgeous, the lilacs and everything else are in bloom. I am so excited. So she and I are gonna be going around looking for all of the animals and hopefully getting lots of fun ideas for building our zoos and zoo crafting and zoo tycoon and I'm really excited because we're probably gonna have a fantastic day I also have my new cameras with me, so hopefully I'll be able to get you guys up close and personal with some of the animals right up in their nose, quite literally. So it should be a lot of fun. So let's go see what we can find. So my sister has discovered that she has an intense love she never knew of sea lions. And we've been watching the sea lions train. They're so smart. Watching them with the nuances of their training and especially when we watched one see that there was a fish bag left unattended. Uh, her name's Delilah and she ran straight for that fish bag and was very eager to see if she could get the fish but they caught her. So that was really cute. And just watching as they move around, as they play with the different enrichment items that they've got and the training items that they have in here. A lot of these ones are rescues um, who are stranded as pups when uh, like red tides or other events separate them from their parents so their parents passed away. Some of them have been born in the zoo so I want to learn more about sea lions now. Being raised in the Midwest in Texas I didn't really get a lot of exposure to sea lions but watching them move around I mean it feels so much like watching a puppy. Oh my goodness, he's falling asleep. How can you sleep with the macaw, buddy? The ringtail lemurs are some familiar favorites of mine. Some of you may remember when we went to the Duke Lemur Research Center in North Carolina last year. It was an amazing experience and we learned so much about these fascinating prosimians. Like, for example, what the word prosimian even means. <laughs> lemurs have long tails and fascinating fingers that look a lot like the fingers that belong to monkeys, apes, and humans, but they aren't part of the same genetic family. They're in their own unique group called prosimians. There are roughly 101 species and subspecies of lemurs, and most of them are native to the island of Madagascar, though there are bush babies in Africa and lorises in Asia too. But with 101 species of lemur, it may sound like there are a lot, but most of you know that lemurs are one of the most endangered collections of species on the planet. Since most live on the same small island, deforestation and development are taking out their habitats at record rates. Currently, 90 of those 101 species are listed as endangered. I find these to be some of the most fascinating species our planet has to offer. 
So if you're interested in learning more about lemurs, make sure to check out some resources like the Duke Lemur Research website. Trust me, you definitely want to know what a gray mouse lemur looks like. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna do it? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nope, he's gonna go on the bridge. Oh, look at that tail. Oh, oh, oh. Is he gonna do it? Oh, he's got a little itch on his ear. Brooke, did you hear the baby? Oh, Chips would just have his heart melt. The baby can't figure out what to do. Oh, no. Mama's calling for the baby, and the baby can't figure out. It's it's up here. It's right there. The baby can't figure out how to get back to mom. Oh my goodness. Are we reunited? We're reunited. Oh, the goat drama is now done. Oh, that was adorable. I am so impressed with the work they've put into this. So the bridges for the goats have like the little troll bridge signs on it. And they've even installed quite a few of the enrichment items so you can feed the goats with little like devices, not just hand them food like it used to be. And that just shows so much care for the goats too. And that makes me so happy. And there's so many kids. Oh, we've got lots of kids, but they're so cute. We're going in to see birds. We're gonna see birds. I'm so excited. We're gonna see some birds. So they're being quiet now, but there's cockatoos and eucalyptus parrots in here as well. They're also birds from Australia, but my sister and I were joking that my Australian birds, the Gouldian finches, sound a lot gentler than these big guys. And we've got, we've got some guests over here, you guys. Look at the ibis. I wonder what they want from me. Food. <laughs> I love how the ibis are just everywhere. They'll fly up over your head into the trees. They're hanging out. You've got your cockatoo yelling in the distance. And then we're playing with sticks. Did you find a good stick? Oh, V, he's trying to escape with you. <laughs> oh, look at the emu. So this emu may just look like a regular emu to you guys, but one of our friends actually works here at the zoo and she's always posting pictures of doing training behavior with this guy. Perhaps this guy, it's kind of hard to tell him apart, but I love his look. So yeah, I'm actually oddly familiar with some of these emus because one of our friends is a zookeeper here and she does a lot of the training and behavior with the emus as well as some of the other animals. And I just love, love, love when she has these quick little Facebook videos of them like kicking the ball around. Uh, one time one of the emus found one of their enrichment balls and decided that it made a good egg and was trying to roost on it. And it's just so fun to have looked at them and seen her, the development of her training with them for so long and to finally be here in person to see them again. It's just so exciting.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Our zoo trip has just begun. As you can imagine, I have a lot more video to share with you. If you're curious about when I went to the Kansas City Zoo, check out my vlog channel for more snippets of my trip to my brother's wedding. I can't wait to share more with you guys. Stay curious, everyone.